Doc Jin Kim was killed in a hit and run crash back in January. His two daughters found his body on the side of the road. Angelina Dixon has their story tonight. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department say this is where the hit and run crash happened, leaving Hak Jin Kim dead at the side of the road. His daughters finding him afterward. And now still searching for answers, his family wants you to know who he was, hoping it might bring them closer to bringing a suspect to justice. Me and my sister just found my dad and we were so hysterical. Annie Kim says her father took his morning walk every day and that Friday in January was no different. Her sister Jeannie Kim Armitage remembers the day started out normally for her. Their dad left for his walk and she left her work as usual. Surveillance video shows him leaving the house. So once I left at 7.30, I just figured he'd be a few minutes behind me. So I left and I got to work right around eight. And then I started getting texts from my sister saying, hey, dad's not back yet. I think there's something wrong. The daughters say they met up and started to search, tracing his route. And when they got to the 215 Beltway on ramp at Brent Thurman Way and Hacienda, they recognized his blue coat. It was on the ground by a guardrail. As they got closer, they found his lifeless body. We were having hope that when the paramedics came, maybe there was a like I said, a pulse that we couldn't feel. The sisters say he had slight scratches on his face and blood near his mouth. His family says Hawk was a retired fisherman from Hawaii. He was a grandfather and a happy man who loved his family. His daughters say he took good care of his health. The family hopes for any answer about exactly what happened. But so far, there are no leads and no arrests. Metro says the investigation is ongoing. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department Collision Investigative Section, and you can contact them at 702-828-3060. In Las Vegas, I'm Angelina Dixon.